Welcome to our lesson on calculating the surface area of a square base pyramid. So we're going to begin by drawing the net of this square base pyramid. And the net in the centre will be the square, which is 5 centimetres by 5 centimetres. And on the edge of each square is the triangle, which is here. And you can see the height of the triangle is 4 centimetres. And these are four congruent triangles on each edge of the square. So we're going to work out the area of one of the triangles, which I'll sketch here. We know the base is 5 and we know the perpendicular height is 4. So the area of a triangle is 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 2, which is 10 centimetres squared. And we have four of them because we have four triangles plus the area of a square in the centre, which is 5 squared, which is 25. So the total surface area, we've got 4 times the 10 centimetres squared, plus the square in the middle, which is 25 centimetres squared. So the total surface area of this square base pyramid is 65 centimetres squared. OK, let's try another question. So again, we're going to draw the net. We, we have now a rectangle in the centre, which is 8 by 6. And we have two triangles on each edge, here and here, which are equal, where the height here is 5. And the triangles on the top and the bottom are also equal, but need have a height of 4.2. So we'll work out the area of this triangle, which is, so the area is 6 times 5 divided by 2, which is 15 centimetres squared here and here. And the triangles on top, we have 8 by 4.2. So this is an area of 16.8 centimetres squared, as is the same on the top, plus the area of this rectangle in the middle, which is 6 times 8, so that's 48. So the total surface area is 2 lots of 16.8, plus 2 lots of the 15, the rectangle in the middle, which is 48, so this brings the total to 111.6 centimeters squared. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to try and work out the total surface area of this rectangular base pyramid? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we begin with the net and we have a rectangle in the middle, which is seven by four. And we have two triangles on the edge and these two triangles are congruent. And we've got two different triangles on top, but these are also congruent. Now we need to work out the perpendicular height of this triangle. And you can see that this perpendicular height would be this length here. And this length is formed by a right angle triangle. So I'll draw this here. We know the base is half of a 7, which is 3.5. And the perpendicular height is also 3.5. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the hypotenuse, which is here. And that is the square root of 3.5 squared plus 3.5 squared. So the hypotenuse has a length of approximately 4.9 centimetres, which we can include on our diagram. And to work out the area of the triangle on top, we need this perpendicular height here which is the hypotenuse in this right angle triangle. So now we have, again the height is 3.5, but now this length is half of a four, which is two. So again, we can use Pythagoras' theorem, 3.5 squared plus two squared, which is approximately four centimeters. And that is that length here. So now we can work out the area of every face. We know the rectangle is 28. We know this is also 4. 
So 7 times 4 divided by 2 is 14. The top triangle will have an equal area. And the triangle on the side will be 4 multiplied by 4.9 divided by 2, which is 9.8. The same on the other side. So the total surface area are the top and bottom triangles, which add up to 28, plus the left and the right triangles, which add up to 19.6, and the rectangle in the middle, which is another 28. So the total surface area of this rectangular base pyramid is 75.6 centimetres squared. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.